So you might be thinking about buying one of the Halfords uh, tool sets with the lifetime warranty, um, but you might not be sure how the warranty actually works. So I'm going to explain that. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I will just say that I'm very happy with this tool set. Um, obviously it's heavy <clears throat> with the amount of tools that are in it, but the clasps and everything on the box, like they all have like a reassuring click, like it's, the box itself is very well made um as for the tools they're all made to a very high standard as well especially the chrome ones um i haven't really used a whole lot of these um but when i have they've all been fine the only bad tool i've found so far is the spark plug sockets um they are not magnetic they're the cheaper ones with a rubber insert inside them so on my recent video where I've changed the spark plugs on my motorbike, I didn't realise at the time, but the rubber insert actually came out of the socket. Here's the socket here. And if you see this insert, it's all mullered, it's all chewed up. In fact, I can probably pull it out with my fingers. Uh, let me just do that, I need two hands. Yeah, so as I was changing the, the spark plugs, I was putting a new one in with this and as I pulled it off, this rubber stayed attached to the spark plug and I had a nightmare trying to get it off because there's not much clearance um, to actually access it and in the process kind of deformed it and it's messed it up. So I found my receipt, um, Halfords tend to do an e-receipt so I just checked my inbox and just typed in like Halford's receipt and I found it from about six months ago or whatever it was. Uh, took this tool to the store and uh, asked to have it exchanged. They know it's theirs because um, all of these chrome tools have Halford's engraved on them. Um, they didn't even ask for the receipt, which was good. I had it anyway just in case, but they didn't ask. Um, they didn't have one of these in stock, so they did have to order it, which took about four or five days. So today I went in, they gave me a call to say it had been delivered to the store. Went in and here it is, here's the replacement, brand new 12mm spark plug socket. They didn't even ask for the old one back, so I've essentially got a spare, I could maybe glue that rubber piece back in, or just use it as a normal socket. Without the rubber, it's not 12 mil. I think it's 16 or something like that. But yeah, I've got this as spare now. And uh, this is the new one. So it's as easy as that. You just, I just walked in, said, yeah, I, they ordered a replacement socket for me. And he got it out and um, gave it to me. And you can do that for life. Like the warranty is literally a lifetime. Um, and you can do it as many times as you want. So if this one breaks i can just keep keep and keep replacing it uh, so you can't really go wrong um so that's how it works if you don't have your receipt anymore and they ask for it um maybe try a different store they shouldn't ask for it because they know it's theirs um i have read online that that can happen but if you persevere if you like push they should just replace it for you um so yeah, it's really as easy as that, um, and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, hopefully that clears things up. The only other thing I will say is um, if you need this as part of your profession, if you're a, a mechanic by trade or whatever, I would recommend upgrading the spark plug sockets to magnetic ones so you don't have to deal with the um, with this happening to you. Um, they should at least really be glued in, in my opinion, um, but they're just like a, a tight push fit, but obviously not that tight, because look what happened here. But yeah, that would be the only negative I would say about the kit itself. Um, all these spanners here are uh, ratchet spanners, open-ended wrench on one end and a ratchet spanner on the other, so super useful. Um, really good finish on them. Uh, and even the ratchet me ratchet mechanism is really like fine detail. So if you don't have much working room, do you see that? Like 
it ratchets a lot. I don't know how many clicks it will do per like 360 degree revolution, but it's significantly better than a lot on the market. Um, and to release the socket, you just push this button in because it clamps each socket in place. So yeah, I've, I kind of abuse them, like throw them on the floor and stuff and they, they just hold up really well. So yeah, that's essentially it. No, no fuss, no arguments, no, no quibble. I'll just swap it out for a new one. And that applies to any of these sockets and attachments and spanners that you see here. So yeah, I'd fully recommend it.